Hello everybody, I'm Ben from What Culture Gaming. This is Peter, we're at EGX 2017, and we've just had a look at Hidden Agenda. Now you may remember we actually did something with uh, a new system that Sony is introducing called Playlink that allows you to use your mobile phone to download a companion app, and then you sit there with a group of friends and you can play a specific game that allows you to do that. Augmented stuff added in and fun, fun mechanics to... Draw, draw on your phone and then swipe it and it's on the TV, take hmm. photos and all that sort of stuff. Um, That's You was the last one we played. That was the first one they launched it was free on ps plus so a lot of you may have played it as well which is like a quiz game the most exciting one that i've seen so far and the one that we saw today hidden agenda comes from supermassive games who made until dawn and basically what they've done is they've made a four player uh heavy rain slash until dawn game where it's a murder mystery and you all have to vote on what you want to do and answer specific questions to decide who goes next or who makes a specific decision and stuff like that and sometimes you have a hidden agenda that you have to try and pull off and keep it a secret from your friends it's basically like quite an advo advanced bo board game if i can yeah. get it out yeah, maybe. come to life yeah it is i mean i i did wonder you sort of pitched this to me and said this game's going to be there and i was like okay sounds good sounds like it could also just go totally wrong and like not work at all and you know you, you don't want these things to be interrupting the flow of the narrative but you know like in Un until dawn you do keep stopping just to do things and it doesn't actually i i, I think they make these things these, these things work and they did in this instance as well yeah. um my very very first impression of the game was yes. as it faded up uh, they did that like texture popping thing you know where the level of detail just instantly goes up on the oh, texture okay. and i was like oh is it going to be doing this every time the camera angle changes telltale. yeah exactly but it didn't fortunately it was must have just been like literally as it loaded the world or something yeah. but beyond that it, it just seemed to go from strength to strength i think the implementation of the telephone worked really well it gets you just deciding and, and uh discussing these things with each other yeah, and, you continue. and when you've got this hidden agenda amongst the four mm -hmm. you know it, it, you might have everyone saying oh look, clearly we need to be like cool, calm and collected in this situation, let's not start shooting anyone. And then there's going to be one guy who might have been told like, you have to shoot him or you know something like that i don't know how so deep these go push for, for that yeah shot, but they don't want to out themselves exactly the yeah you get like bonus points for finding out who who done it mm -hmm. who the hidden agenda person is so yeah it adds a whole extra layer it's not just until dawn it's yeah. it's the equivalent of one of these deception board games so yeah. yeah and it seems like quite an adult game as well super massive obviously known for until dawn which was very gruesome yeah. now we didn't see any gruesome stuff in this but we did see some f words flying around so it's not you know it's not a family game so if you can get a few friends over and play that i think it would be really fun mm. uh, particularly if it's the you know the the realistic they seem to be using the same graphics engine from until dawn anyway the character models look very similar uh the bit that we saw is your you're a police officer going into a house and the you know your partner on the outside says right we're going uh we're splitting up or we're going in loud or you know or, or what have you and then you get the option of confident or careful yeah. and then it explains what those two mean underneath and you all have to vote which one you want to do it just looks like multiplayer um heavy rain except you're not moving the character around mm -hmm. an interactive film if you will uh, it, it just looks great it looks like a really cool idea and i'm very excited to play it when it comes out yeah i think maybe one of the only issues we thought might I mean, maybe the more you get into it, this might be explained away, but um, you can see other people voting as they're doing it. Mm -hmm. So there are four little like colored circles and then two squares with the options. And you see the circles move in as people swipe on their phone. And you know which color people are. And as you well. do. And I, I'm, not, I'm not necessarily debating whether the results of the vote should be then made public after the decision is made. Mm -hmm. But if you see how people are going to vote when it gets to zero or when everyone's decided, yeah. that might influence you. And I would rather everyone votes off their own back and then at the end it says by the way ben went against the group on that one um so keep an eye on him yeah exactly yeah. so maybe that's but i don't know they build these things with with purpose and they understand why their mechanics work in the way that they do so maybe the yeah. further you get on you might realize it might become actually, yeah exactly yeah i i really like this whole playlink initiative yeah. uh the other console games have done it i think the jackbox does it as well mm -hmm. it doesn't have an app but you just go to a web page and enter a code and then you get to play along 
with the TV. But I think Playlink having specific apps for the games allows them allows you a far greater amount of uh, interaction, yeah. especially with that to you when you get to draw on your phone and take photos and that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, this is going from strength to strength as far as I'm concerned. And I'm, I'm looking forward to not only what other ideas people come up with that you can use Playlink for, but actually this itself, because it just looks like a really fun evening with your friends on a murder mystery where everyone's got their own stuff going on. Well, I was going to say, it's, it seems to be, as far as we're aware, citation needed. It's the first time Playlink has been used in such a sort of strong narrative-based yes. uh, form. There's only form. a handful of games right. so far. And yeah. they seem to all just be sort of family fun quiz games and, and the like. Yeah. So yeah, it's interesting to have the, the equivalent of like, oh, let's all sit around on our phones and play a game together. Mm -hmm. But it's in literally pitch black rooms of, uh, you know, murders. It, yeah, of murders. murders. They were all dark, weren't they? It was really, even the yeah. interrogation room that we saw that the uh, the suspect that they ended up capturing and not shooting, which was an option, mm. um, it was just pitch black in, in there. The police it's, station. Yeah, in the police station. It's very, very mysterious and dark and it looks very promising, but uh, yeah. Hopefully that's not going to be too long till it's out. I'm not entirely sure when that's out. No. But uh, let us know what you think of Playlink. I imagine a fair, a fair few of you have played That's You Now, as it was free on Plus. But uh, we're going to be bringing you loads more videos from the NEC and a e G AGX. AGX. You're right, it's been a long day, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I can't uh, anymore. I've been Ben from World Culture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got to send this to PR people. <laughs> and thanks for watching.